Hi everyone, welcome to date 13th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. So today we'll be solving two questions that was asked in Facebook data analyst interview. So let's see our first question. So question number one, identify the top three posts with highest engagement. Engagement means likes plus comments for each user on a Facebook page. Display the user ID, post ID, engagement count and the rank for each post. So let's see the table first. I've already created the table to practice it. So in the table we have post ID, user ID, likes, comments and post it. So let's go ahead and read the questions again to understand it better. So first it says identify the top three posts with highest engagement, likes plus comment for each user. So for each user we need top three posts. So basically we need top three posts by each user and then we need the count of engagement so basically how many likes count of likes and comments so we can go ahead and say sum of likes plus comments what we need and third we need that post rank so what is the rank of basically that post so basically post rank that this is what we need and uh, so we will be using this query only so let's go ahead and start writing our query so first we need basically the user id so I'll be writing it as user ID and then I'll be needing its post ID and then I'll be doing a sum of basically likes and comments to basically sum the total number of likes and comments on that post so which is going to be likes plus comments so sum of, sum of likes plus comments which is this column and name it as engage Engagement. engagement count let's see now we will be using a group by group by of the user id and the post id so we'll be doing it group by the user id and post id so now if i just run the query let me just show you now you can see that we already have for that particular user and the post id and we see the engagement now if we just do a order by order by which is engagement count in descending order let's see now basically what we can see let me just do order by user id instead of post id user id count descending now we can see for each user we have the post ID and that post engagement so for example for this user which is 101 that this post having the basically you know highest number of engagement these two post so this is the uh, you know going to be third post and uh, now what we need basically a ranking for this post and then we can basically you know filter the data for only up to three posts so we'll be using a window functions to basically do that to basically give a ranking of because see this user has posted so many you know posts so we need to give a ranking from the top engagement which is this this one is going to get a rank one this one is also going to get rank one then this is going to rank two this is going to get rank three basis on the engagement we will be giving the ranking for each users and then we will be doing a filter by you know three posts for each user so that's how we will be able to solve this question so after that we will be using row number basically to simply give a row number for each record for each user and that is a part of window functions so we'll be using row number if you do not know row number so just let me know in the comments so i'll make another video to explain all the window functions and how they are useful so we'll be using row number the syntax is row number and it goes with over clause in over it goes with partitions which is not mandatory so partition by i'll be doing a partition by user id i'll explain like why i'm doing it and i'll do order by this you know basically count in descending order so i'll explain after this like why i'm doing it so descending order and i'll name it as rn which is basically row number now i need to use one more you know window function that's called that's to give a ranking for each post so i'll be using a dense rank here dense rank and the syntax looks similar so ten rank also partitions by user id goes with order by i'll be doing the order by same which is going to be this only so i'll just copy it from here 
and I'll name it as ranks so let me just reorder it so let me just explain like what this row number is going to give so this row number is going to simply add a new column and it will give a row number starting from one so first row will get one number then second row will get two, two number then third fourth so this is how it's going to give a row number in a new column and then this rank which is i am using dense rank so this dense rank is going to basically give a ranking on the basis of engagement so for example this is having the highest number of engagement for the user which is 101 so this is going to get rank number one and this is also getting the highest number of engagement because this both are having same number of engagement these two posts which is eight and seven so this is also going to get a rank one this is going to get rank two this is going to get rank three so let me just run the query and i'll show you how it's actually working so now you can see that for this user which is 101 the post id is eight for this post this is the highest engagement post you can see that this is 125 these two are the highest you know engagement posts this is 125 125 now you can see row number is giving row number one to this because this is the first row and this is the second row is giving second row number this is the third row is giving third row number so accordingly it's going basically now if you see the rank so as these two posts which is seven and eight they both are having same number of engagement so they both are getting rank one so it's instead of rank one and in rank two because that would be unfair because they both are having same number of engagement so they both the post are getting same rank and then the rank 2 is going to get by this post which is 110 because this is the third post but the rank is 2 because this two posts are having the same number of engagement so this is the reason we are using two window functions basically to solve it so now let's go ahead and you know basically see what else we need so now we have got user id post id engagement count row number tense rank now we can simply use a you know with clause to basically solve it so i'll just name it as a with rank post so basically i'm just giving it a table name as a rank so if you do not know about the with clause do leave a comment so i'll make a video to you know explain like how it works so i'm going to just create a new table which is called rank post on the basis of this query so this is going to be a virtual table it's not physical table because it doesn't exist in my database only just to run this query so i'll just reorder this so now from this rank post table which i have created so i need the user id and then i need the post id and then I need the basically engagement counts so I'll select the engagement count and other than that I need the rank as you can see the question it asks display user ID post ID engagement count and the rank for each post so engagement count and we need the ranks and from I'll select the table which is going to be rank post so now other than that I need to use a where clause because I want to filter only data basically only three posts for each user so i'll be using filter by this row number instead of rank so row number which is rn now i'll be filtering it by less than equal to three so basically i'm filtering it by less than equal to three so it should work fine so now you can see for each user we are getting only three top posts and they are engaged based on the their engagement and their ranking as asked in the questions now if you see user i user which is 101 that user has a post which is called seven and eight they both are having same number of engagement but they both are getting same rank because of that and the third post of that user basically third post that is four and getting engagement of 110 which is uh, likes plus comments and this is getting rank two so only we are getting three record as asked in the questions we are not getting basically fourth record because it only has asked for display the top three posts of a user now let's see if you see the user 2 now for the user 2 you can see the post which is 15 a post id 15 and has the highest number of engagement that is 130 so that is getting rank 1 and the post 2 which is 12th and that is having you know engagement count 100 that's getting rank 2 and the post which is number 18 that has the 65 engagement count that is getting rank 3 so now if you just see the difference in this user we are getting rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 because there is no similar you know count of engagement for you know two post so this is the reason similarly with the same with the you know third post you can see this is getting rank 1 this is getting rank 2 this is getting rank 3
So this is how we can solve by combining window functions and a complex query. So let's go to our question number two for the day. So determine the users who have posted more than two times in the past week and calculate the total number of likes they have received. Return the user ID, number of posts they have posted and number of likes. So let's see the table first. So this is the table. You can see that we have post ID, user ID, number of total likes they have received for that post and the post date. So let's go ahead and read the questions once more time so that we can understand it better. Determine the users who have posted more than two times. So what we need the user who have posted more than two times. So we can just make a quick note. User posted more than basically greater than two times. This is what we need. And then it is asking the calculate the total number of likes. So we need to basically sum the total likes. And then other than what we need is number of likes they have received return the user ID number of post and number of likes so number of posts we need again so which is going to be count of post so this is what we need and this all things that is required for the past week which is going to be past week for past week so these are the things that we need to solve this uh, you know question so we can start writing our query first we need the user ID which is going to be user ID and then we need basically sum of likes so you can go ahead and sum of likes basically for this column for that you know kind of post and then what we need is basically the count of post that user has done which is using post ID and count post ID we can just make it so we we'll just call it count of post so it's going to basically give us a count of post and this one is going to name it as total likes so these are the things i need and uh, from the table which is post now we'll be using a where functions to basically select the record for the past week so we'll select where and uh, with the post date we can basically you know fulfill that where post date is going to be so we'll be using uh you know basically you know day functions here to basically select the records only for the past week so we'll be selecting where post date is greater than we'll be using greater than equal to current date so i'll just explain why i'm just doing it so it's greater than current date minus seven so and post date is basically less than current date so let me explain basically what i'm saying that this post date okay it has to be greater than the current date minus seven so current date minus seven let me just show you what it does actually returns if i just select current date basically it's going to return today okay so if i just select current date minus seven it's going to basically give me you know today minus seven so what is the date of today minus seven it's going to be like today is fifth so this today minus seven is going to be 27 so this is going to return by this query you can see that it's returning you know like today minus seven days basically so this is the date it is returning so why why, why we're giving this is to basically select the record only for the past seven days so if you see that this post date has to be greater than this day which is going to be uh, 24 to 27 and less than current date which is going to be less than today so this is how we are filtering the record only for the last you know seven days now we'll be using group by because we want to see the record by each user so we'll be using group by the user id so this is how we can go ahead and now run it so now you can see basically we have what we need like the user id and the total number of likes they have received and the count of posts they have done so now if you just notice in the question it has asked to select the user who have posted more than two times so we only need to select the data who have posted more than two times which is basically only this user so this we can accomplish by simply using having functions here having this count which is going to be count of this greater than two so now if i just go ahead and run this should give us the result what we need now you can see that we have the user id and the total likes they have received and the count of posts that user has done which is greater than two 
so this is the user id this is what we basically need in the questions so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end i'm going to share a link to this query so that you can download and practice by yourself and if you really like my content please do subscribe to my channel and maybe leave a comment so if you have any suggestions or any other way to basically solve these problems thank you so much have a good day take care